<laughs> that was bad. I'm sorry. I gotta no, not no, start. No, okay. I gotta not start on the left. Uh, welcome everybody to Books and Batches. Not to be confused with books and barbarians. Ooh. Ooh. I'm Kristen, and with me I have Barbarian Eric <laughs> and. Just Maria. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is a book podcast. We're Triple S. We're going to swear. We're going to spoil. And we're going to talk about sex. This week, Erica hinted towards it this week by saying we're not barbarians. Erica, what are we doing? We are doing Ice Planet Barbarians. Let me just. By oh, Ruby yeah. Dixon? Ruby Dixon? Ruby Dixon. Ruby Dixon. I what a so. name. Ruby Dixon. That can't be her real name. Ruby, yeah, well, I think I looked her up and I couldn't find. I like a, a person she's not a yeah. real person um ice planet barbarians as you could tell by the title this is a very serious book just kidding this started off as let's do a rage read <laughs> it was it was originally a rage read because everyone was like everyone was talking about it on the book talks and it's the yeah instagram book talk lost its fucking mind about it and apparently really? like this book is from 2017 it's not even new. i don't yeah wow. just it just started trending on book talk randomly because book talk seems to be behind uh, yeah it tends to be pretty behind and it just like blew up and then somebody had Blue. said it to me and i was like all right i'm fucking down like i'll read a alien porn like sure i think the pandemic has a lot to do with that weird uh, shit yeah well, especially say, when they that person um wrote that kissing the coronavirus book. yeah exactly that was, it was 17 pages say, and very, it was so bad i'm very happy we didn't read that for this yeah um i did it was 17 pages and it was <laughs> the weirdest thing i've ever seen well ice planet barbarian um what started as let's read it for fun and we'll do a rage read it's where we not just bash long it. it's like it's 186 two, pages and we're like let's just bash it it'll be fun it'll be hilarious all these oh, people are um, talking about ice it. ice planet yeah and guess what it's it was none free. of us hated it <laughs> it was free on kindle Un- it's free on kindle unlimited it like it was entertaining what you keep saying free on kindle unlimited okay you have not, to pay for, for kindle, kindle unlimited. unlimited but that you makes it but not you don't free. have a cap so yeah you just keep so but that's like me saying it's oh, like netflix the, yeah that's like me saying oh that show is free on netflix no that show is what i'm paying for so, on netflix so okay so then you Get can't say it's free on that. so it's available on kindle unlimited that's much better i think you get kindle unlimited pricing though so you can yeah. get discounts you can if you're like kindle unlimited like but but free. yeah but it's part of the library you can get on kindle unlimited. so if you have kindle unlimited don't be like or if you don't have it, don't be confused. You can't just go fucking get this thing for free. Like you have to pay if for the you, subscription. Yeah, on you Kindle Unlimited. Now that we solved that, it's it's available on Kindle Unlimited. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's available on Kindle Unlimited. So easily accessible if you have Kindle Unlimited. We're still on this. Are we done? <laughs> yes. Yeah, sorry. Where are we going with that? Ice Planet. Oh wait, am I going to do the sixty seconds? Yeah, because yeah. you haven't done one in a while too. Yeah. Let's talk about the genre first. This is a. <laughs> Does it have to <laughs> a sci-fi? I'm pretty sure it's just Pornhub sci-fi under sci-fi erotica. <laughs> We've never yeah. done a sci-fi erotica. It's a million percent sci-fi erotica, right? Y- Did yes. you look it up too? Is it's, that what well, it says? S- the story graph says fiction, science, science fiction, adventurous, fast-paced. So keep in um, mind, if this is an erotica, we're really getting into some sex scenes here. Good so read. Good read you know. says adult fiction, erotica, science fiction, aliens, romance, <laughs> science fiction, romance. <laughs> paranormal it's called know. the cover itself says science fiction science fiction romance it's called ice planet barbarians like you kind of understand what the fuck you're getting into here right an ice planet some barbarians like and, and erica please explain the cover yeah we haven't had a cover it's so ridiculous so now that we're like on so YouTube, it's literally yeah. explain the covers anymore yeah. it's literally a porn i think we do it whenever it's a weird book like this one so the fr- the <laughs> <laughs> the front cover is the is the guy's back, right? <laughs> and he looks like he has some long hair, or whatever. And the girl is like putting his head in her chest, and the arms are like wrapped around her, heads tilted back, like she's like pleasure being pleasured right now. The guy has no shirt on. What looks like happened in post was they took <laughs> his skin and they were just like you know like the color setting where you're just like let's make him blue and like he's someone just blue. watched Watchmen and said oh he should be blue. <laughs> They didn't paint him or anything. Like this he's not pa- he's not painted yeah. blue. He's colored blue in the most <laughs> ostentatious, horrible way. It's pretty that's bad. like Oh my god, you can see the you can see the lines of like this logo here. 
from the oh it's not good it is <laughs> not good when i pulled that up i was like yeah this is gonna be a fun rage read can't wait to fucking pick this one apart i will say though jokes on does me. that not describe the entire book yeah yeah like yeah. great cover for what it is you're not wrong you're not you're wrong. judging your book like you know how they say don't judge a book by its cover <laughs> that's the book you can judge by its cover you're not wrong. that's what you're getting you're absolutely you're right. getting a blue man that's gonna lick your tits <laughs> okay let's get into the 16 seconds <laughs> right Zena? <laughs> yeah blue man they lick your boobies <laughs> maria's dog Zena is uh, uh here as always she's a rat now guys she's, she's basically the fourth member of books and benches i feel like if you're tuning into this podcast by now you just know who Zena is so we're Look just gonna her. reference her as Look such moving forward if you're watching us on youtube look up books and patches you can see oh my god how fucking adorable (laughs) our little baby seal is she got a little shave so she got because she likes to rub herself all over the carpet and then she won't let me brush her so like then i took her to the groomer and this man i'm never letting a man touch my dog again on females only from now on shaved her down to like he had to though no i think she could he could have shaved her to this length instead of like it's grown down to her fucking skin look how cute she is she's better now she looked worse than i cried like i literally teared up when she got home i was like oh no (laughs) okay Um, sorry anyway erica is gonna do 60 seconds so if you're new here we do this thing where we try to explain the entire plot summary in 60 seconds or less um we always say this but we're pretty bad at it um, yeah if you've been following around sometimes we like randomly do well erica this is a fucking easy book to do i think it's I'm 186 pages. which is such bullshit i feel like she gets these a lot but i won't I'm, but let's, let's see if we get lucky let's see if she fucks it up yeah let's wait all until... right are you ready are yeah. you ready here we go in three two i don't even remember the name of the girl but and i don't remember the name of the guy either either. and she gets kid she's 22 years old she gets kidnapped she's on an alien spaceship somehow one of the girls gets a little fucking translator in her ear like randomly so that we know what's going on in the fucking this weird ass porn fantasy that we're in and the aliens want (laughs) to i think they want to sell them for sex slaves somehow they know what those are so we're doing that and they're on the ship the ship fucking crashes on a planet which the odds of that actually happening are so astronomical that i like even for fantasy is a little bit too much they crash on this ice planet off of like worst planet to fucking crash on i'm crying Worst planet to crash on. They crash on the planet. (laughs) Fuck this up. They crash on the planet and (laughs) she meets a blue alien. She needs a coolie to fucking (laughs) to to live on the planet. She falls in love and they have an entire porno in a cave. Okay. He has a little knob above his dick that like I (laughs) I think No, he's he's, I think pleasures the butthole. Um, I'm crying. <laughs> you see the tears. <laughs> the coolie. I'm sorry. I forgot how ridiculous the fact that I said I didn't hate this book and then that's how you. <laughs> So, um, I hope you keep all of that in. So, yeah, the book is the book is basically the plot of a porn. No, also, can we just talk about how? mm, Okay, the way this alien um shows himself to this girl is like he basically. Yeah, I know. What is this person's name? Can we get names? I was trying to find it. I forget, what, it. His name is. I forget, I forget what his name is. So Ice Planet Barbarian. Maria and I listened to the story on audiobook. The audiobook was not bad. The woman sounded like a butch lesbian. Oh, Vectal. Vectal. Ve- Vectal. And Georgie. Vectal. Georgie. I don't even know what she actually is supposed to be like in the book. She's like a younger. She's 22. She's, she's like, 22. She's okay. a hot little piece of ass. <laughs> She has, has fucking daddy issues, probably. That's why she has like, no problems not going back to Earth. Like, great, great pre planning for that. She said that as I took a sip of water and now I'm drenched this in tears and water. This is a fucking mess. I can't wait to edit this. Okay. Um, um, uh, okay, so yeah, she gets kidnapped. 
And all these and girls are a variety of fucking terrible. <laughs> like every single one of them. She literally. And so she goes up to the spaceship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a group of aliens or a group of girls that have been taken. Uh, and they find out they're the extra. The real girls that have been brought are actually like in tubes, like sleeping, like in hibernation. And Which, like, why were they the extra? And so they don't know. They're like, oh, we must. They must have picked up more because they could fit more this, in the ship. But the, we get to be awake. This is a book that you don't ask questions. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I, no, yeah. You no don't, questions. You don't yeah. ask questions. You, you accept don't say what, what, is, what has happened. This is that kind of book. You don't say this doesn't make sense. Like the, the whole fact thing. that she has a translator on yeah, the ear. I didn't lot. hate the abduction. No, I, I didn't, didn't hate that. Honestly, I didn't hate any of this book. Um, I was so I <laughs> I had one of those days where I was very tired. You know, like an yeah. audiobook is all you can do. So I was like laying in bed. I got I went to bed like at eight, and I start listening to this book, <laughs> and I get like halfway, and I didn't even go up to two times speed. I yeah. was like at one point five, one point eight, yeah. and I'm laying there, and my eyes are closed, and I'm like. Do I like this? Do I like this? <laughs> I think we all had that relevant. And like, it wasn't revelation. during the sex here anything. I was just no. like, it was in general, like just her traversing the ice. Yes. And I'm like, do I like this? That was like, I was. Is this yeah. good? I listened to this while I painted. It's not bad. For like it's eight, not bad. eight hours of just painting. And I just listened to this whole book. Like, I think I listened to it all in like basically one setting. And I remember like, I went, I was like, okay, I'm listening, I'm listening, I'm listening. And then I like went and did something else. And I started thinking about her adventure. And I was like, fuck, wait, I was like kind of invested in that. And now I kind of want to know like what happens next. I'm not going to read the rest of these, to be honest. No. But as a one-off, this was really great. There's 20 of these There's books. Like 20 books but so she gets abducted and there's other women on the ship and then the fucking aliens kind of start like raping the women so trigger warning one of them because one of them decided to fight but they're like oh well but and so when they fight they start get they get raped but it was hinted at that they've all yeah been. they've all gone through so it. so it was like oh shit these aliens yeah. i hate the this, these aliens this is what bothered me at first was like they're like the typical aliens they're like like weird little fucking green little green aliens men. like what and then you these just, guys are sexy yeah. ice planet barbarians <laughs> i just like, love that they're like what a planet like yeah. not only did you land on a planet that was filled with very hot men that had little nubs that'll pleasure you elsewise but they had a shortage of women yeah like their clan has a shortage of women i want to know the author so bad so okay so she basically like, she basically leaves the ship and once they like crash land and everything and she's like we're gonna die here i'm gonna go venture out i have the most like i, I don't know she's just decided to be the leader she's just, yeah. um so she goes and she goes ventures out she finds vectal vectal is like she gets trapped in a tree vectal finds her vectal finds her she they gets into like, a trap and ends up in a tree they end up like being nice to each other whatever no 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 when they first meet you can't just skim over how they first meet because so she's traversing this ice planet which i thought was really cool Didn't there's she an fall adventure asleep? no listen there's an this is an adventure and i like this part that okay. she gets off the ship she's exploring this ice planet i was like this is kind of neat like i can't wait to see what this planet's the ice all about planet's weird yeah she ends up in a trap and he brings her back to like a cave and she wakes up to him like licking, licking her, her yeah and pleasuring her in his defense he was like this is my mate so he could like he could <laughs> <laughs> In this fucking weird ass world, Listen, he no. was like, "This is my mate." That's not his defense. No, well, he doesn't know what he's doing. He's just licking yeah. her. He's just he has like, no idea. "Yo, you smell like the one for me." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the more we talk about this, the more fucking ridiculous. So she's just like, "What's going on?" But she enjoys it because like so she's, she's doing like, yeah, it good. She's a horn dog, and he's she's got a, he's it. got a weird tongue. Twenty two. She's trying to get it. Like, yeah. So he's got a bumpy he's tongue. He's, like, he's described as having ridges all over like down his body yeah right so he has these like these like little bumps which i'm like is he hot then like i just I feel love like that how would throw me i off. thought of like a, a bridge right here would make yeah. him, like, little, 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 i like how she face. was like in her mind she was like i'm on an ice planet and i left these girls as a thing and i'm getting pleasured by an alien but i'm really into this right now <laughs> she's like so chill about which it which is almost like when we get mad at the guys like chasing you yeah. to your death and you're like why am i so attracted yeah to him? she was that's just like that. into it so that's how she meets vectal who can't even speak the language they which, don't speak each other's language kudos to the author for adding that because if she had just been like if he was just like oh hey and could communicate with her that's bullshit yeah. and like how yeah fucking I, I liked how they interacted they, so eventually like fast forward just to give everyone the 
fast forward they there's a they find an old ship and the old ship like inserts a translator into her which so made total she can sense now, so she can now speak the, that language and I thought that was great. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was well done. I felt, and it made I felt real. Total sense. It made more sense of the, the people. Ear translator at for the, the rest of the people yeah. too, because we got twenty books of this shit. I cannot believe that. So all these girls probably get the translator in there. So also on that ship, she learns that she doesn't have this thing called Cree. And Cree is something that you need in order to like live on this planet. And it's, it's like a parasite. But they yeah. call it like a coolie. I thought it was Cree. Yeah, it was Cree. It's but something they call, like that. They, but they kept calling it like a coolie. Like a, or a, cootie. Know they, a cootie, a cootie, a cootie. They like got that. cooties. It's some weird ass parasite, and I think of like the host from Stephanie Meyer. Mm. Um, I was thinking Where the host from Stephanie Meyer is actually an alien going into people's yeah. bodies. Yeah, I was thinking Avatar esque. I feel like there's no way she can get back to Earth. So for her to even debate in her mind, she's like, "Well, if the other ship comes back." Or like if I can Let get me out go of on here. the rape ship. I'm like, like and what? how are you gonna get back? Like you can't fucking fly a spaceship. Like you, you're not going back to Earth. You dude. got a hot blue alien who wants to live. That you, you fell in love yeah. with in a day. Yeah, and you're doing fine. Just get that Cree and Just, live yeah. your life. The insta love is not for me. Yeah. So she. It's 180 pages. You got to work with. You it. could. Yeah. It doesn't have to be love though. She definitely falls in love with him. Yeah. That's like the rest of the story. Basically, she's like, okay, well, I need to get this like Cree thing. They are, turns out like we he's get like, the Cree thing. My Basically, it's her going to him. Hey, help me get my girls to safety. And then he finds out you have more women. Yeah. I'm like, ooh. ooh. My brothers need women. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> this sounds so ridiculous. They go, and then when he goes, he, I guess he's the chief of this sort of like. Clan. alien clan and then when they go back with this human they're just like who's this pale chick and then he's like it's my mate and they go you got a mate bro <laughs> really where did you goes, get her where did he you goes, pick her he up? goes yeah like, guess what there's more he goes wait what and the other guys get excited because there's more girls i don't remember and they how are it like, ends. is it their cooties that start the, the vibrating cooties, so, oh the, my god the vibration <laughs> They're he, like, like their vibrates. Chest, like, vibrates. His chest vibrates that when shit he's threw like me for near a real her. Loop. Yeah, I just imagine like it's like a cat. It's like a Im- Furby. I just picture him as a hate, Furby. I didn't hate it. It's yeah, different. I didn't, I didn't like hate that. any of it, but I just didn't. It's different. Like it was like yeah. it wasn't yeah. overdone. It wasn't like he was like I gotta say like all the time. Like he like vibrated say, sometimes. He was like hey girl yeah. when yeah. he wanted things. Uh, he <laughs> did. <laughs> he did. It did feel like it was sort of fleshed out in the idea wise. You know, it didn't feel like it was just like it didn't feel fan fictiony. No. How did it end? No. Um, uh, they go into the clan thing and they all they decide to stay. Back. I'm so curious how there's 20 more of these books. It must just so go through each, each women. They're each women to a certain point. They don't go back like, to Earth, right? I think it's like 14 so. is 14 or 15 are just like the individual women. Um, and then at some point it turns into like an actual storyline of like this all of them. This is wild. Oh, and I hate, well, the one thing I hate about this book is the pregnancy shit. Yeah, I forgot about that. She so like she gets, goes. I can't get pregnant because he's like yeah, an alien. Like, it's it's a cross. How does she just uh, out of it? All of all, you just think you just can't because there's two different yeah, species. Yeah, she just came and to that so conclusion. she gets pregnant, right? Yeah, does well, she? It doesn't. It's not confirmed, <laughs> but but it takes three years for you to right. Does it take three years? Is that what it is? No, I don't know. But what he was saying, like when they finally got the communication working between them, when she got the the language put into her brain. Uh, he mentions like, oh, when our kit comes in, they call it kits. When our kit comes, you know, you and I, you know, <laughs> yeah. She goes, a kit. What you talk about? Our child, our offspring. <laughs> it's like, the way he talks is so funny. It's so funny. And I, at that point, I was like, I, I hate their pregnancy trope. Yeah, I fucking hate it. It's interesting though. Like, imagine bringing up a child in that on that. But ice don't planet. do it in book one. Like, don't offer that up to me in book yeah. one. Like, let me ease. So, I kind of forgot. So, okay, about so it. I read the second book, and the second <laughs> book did. is one of the other girls, one of the fucking more annoying of the girls, and the the like angry alien dude. I don't remember if he was in the number one one, um, but he like vibrates towards her. And he's like, all right, this bitch is mine. And he like, I think he like does something against whatever Vectal says. And Vectal's like, I have to fucking kick you out now. Yeah. Like he's like, you directly disobeyed me. So then it's like this whole like thing of like how that happens and whatever. It's like, it's it's like a little, it's a different story. It's like a fully different storyline. One part that was funny was when the girls come to the clan, right? When all the girls get saved from the top of the mountain. 
and georgie hears someone like vibrating and she goes who who's mating right now oh who's, yeah who's trying to mate somebody right that now that was really funny there's some really good little moments in this there this was book. there was some like there was some pretty funny things so as an erotica like how do we feel about like the sex scenes in the in the book like i think they were raunchy yeah um, they were they were raunchy they were. the blue nub or the little nub above his that's penis for her. it's for her pleasure it's yeah. for, it's it's for the clit ass, but, but i also think it's for the butthole too well because if you flip over and they mate from that way oh that's true why'd you move like that <laughs> Yo, if you're watching this on YouTube, you're in for a treat. This they whole mate, episode. They mate. They mate. <laughs> From doggy, they doggy style. Yeah. So like, really, she doesn't know about. Like, she yeah. sort of introduces it to him. Yeah, that's true. Well, she teaches them how to kiss. Yeah. She I don't know if a out. nub like that would feel good. Like that. Also, he's got hard. like a 12 inch dick. Like, and God she's just speed. just okay. Oh, just getting slammed. I don't know if I would ever be okay <laughs> with like. <laughs> fucking an alien our family listens to this i know i'm so mine doesn't so i don't care (laughs) but you know what i mean like i don't know if i would ever get to that point where i'm like you're blue a da ba dee da ba da (laughs) yes yes i kept singing that i want you to eat me like a guy like i don't like what what are we doing i would be real freaked out the entire time but the reason and like how hot could he possibly be if he has like fucking ridges on his head i've been trying real hard to rack my my brain around all of this because everybody that i've taught like there's one of our followers i think her name's katie she's been messaging me and she was like because of you guys i started reading ice planet barbarians and i said to her i was like oh you're joining this rabbit hole with me and she messaged me the other day and she was like I'm on book 19. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, no been talking about it too. way. She's like, she told me the same way, but at that point she yeah. was like on book 10. Yeah. Like she's blazing through. So, and, so, and she was like, this is your fault. Cause I was gonna, I, I was talking about my stove and she's like, well, I gotta buy a stove now. And I was like, I guess I'll buy a stove. She goes, oh no, you're coming down this rabbit hole with me. <laughs> and I was like, touche, touche. But like, what is it about this fucking book the series that is hooking people I think what is it i think the it's smut i think it's a you smut. think it is yes i think it's a smut i think it's like because i hate that shit that they're quickness. short and sweet they're really they're really quick yeah. they're the fact fucking that it's 186 pages yeah. they're not free <laughs> They're free. They're available on They're Kindle Unlimited. They're available on Kindle Unlimited if you pay monthly you. for that. They are free. To they you. are not free. They are free. They are not free. How much free. do you pay a month? Ten dollars. So they're ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. They're free. Hold on. Here we go. I'm Let's gonna pull, pull it up, up on Amazon. I'm pretty sure it says free on Kindle Unlimited. But yes, you're paying uh, for Kindle Unlimited. Uh, I know, but I'm saying uh, I'm losing my shit. Either way, I also. What I enjoyed out of it, and it made me realize that I need to read more science fiction because I enjoyed the adventure of it all. Read for free. To you. Read to you. for free. Because you're paying free. for it. Read Guess for what? free. Guess what? If I didn't have Kindle Unlimited, it would say read on Kindle Unlimited. And for then, free! No, it would say no. read on Kindle Unlimited. I, can, I would I click hold on, it. Hold on, hold on. I would I can, click it, and I then it would say buy Kindle Unlimited. I'm on my dad's Amazon. So Sorry, you're Dad. Such, you're, Ice Planet. You're not understanding, Eric. Planet Barbarians. Barbarians. You're just looking at the verbiage, but you're not understanding. What does it say for you? It's a, It says zero on Kindle Unlimited. On the, okay, free now, with Kindle Unlimited membership. Membership. Join now or $2.99 to buy. Oh, listeners, do you agree? Same here? with Audible. It's like free with Audible trial. But you're paying $15 a month. Like, well, come on. They, they fucking. I'm Swindle. just saying. I'm just saying. Oh, Ruby Dixon has another. Oh, it comes with Kindle. They, she has part a lot. Of, Ruby Dixon has a Ice bunch Home? of books. Well, is this part of Ice Home? I don't know. She Who's, has a ton of books, like a ton. But this is another Blue Man. She has a cornucopia. The point I'm trying to make is that these. Books I actually think she has another series that's like not weird. That's pretty good that people like. I don't. These, these books fucking covers bro. sound ridiculous. They look ridiculous. Ridiculous. They kind of are ridiculous, but they're fun they're adventurous they're, they're they're just a quick they're dumb they're like it's like throwing on a soap opera or like throwing on something in the back i like, do love myself you know what oh, I mean? um, it's addictive they have a she has a dragon shifter book series that people oh, really shit. like what's it called i might read it? that uh, you like shifter books it's called fire in his blood fire in his blood because i think is it he was orange well written um, he definitely doesn't look. Oh, normal. he looks scaly. What's with her? Uh, yeah. And I bet you the scales do something. But is this an erotica? 
I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Okay. So I don't know. She found her niche. I love that we went into this thinking it was going to be, gonna a be rage terrible. Read. We we went in, I no, I knew I was going to like it, but um <laughs> I already, I already had read it when I was like, you guys should read Ice Planet Barbarians. I thought you guys were both going to fucking hate it. Really? I, yeah. I was very convinced I you guys were going to hate it. it. I thought I was going to hate it. Because I, I was like, there's it. no I think, way. I think it caught me at the right time. Me too. I think it just, if it was a different uh, week, it maybe might have not hit the same. I don't know. I don't know what it was, Erica. I didn't care for the erotica scenes. Yeah. Like, me neither. Some of them are, I'm like, ugh. Here we go again. Yeah, same. He's vibrating. The again. story was kind of good. He's ring again. Did you? Were you shocked when Maria and I texted you and we were both like, "This isn't bad." I was, I was bamboozled. <laughs> like, what was going through your head? I was like, "There's no way that Kristen likes these sex scenes. <laughs> There's no way." The sex scenes little, I didn't care about. His little nub was rubbing up, and that she was like, "Mm-hmm." <laughs> I mean, who did? Oh, but. I mean, and we also listened to this book. That's the thing. I mean, got speed. I don't know if I could have listened. The to, woman, like, the like I said, sounded like a butch lesbian. She didn't have she George. Didn't do it Georgie for me. to me was like a uh, like a funny, like quick witted. Like, like I didn't get any of that out of it. I didn't yeah. get funny probably would have made her. it better for me. But uh, the other guy, the guy Vectal was perfect i thought he was great the narration was funny, yeah. was the narrator was great for that like, he, he was perfectly the, written the weird accent and like pl- saying the like, weird the words. sayings yeah i don't know if i would have liked this as much if i read it i think i had to. yeah have i think it. i had to have listened to it i would love to read i would love to listen to it you should it's fun and it's quick as fuck oh, sweet. that's where we got it on script oh. not free on script you have to have a script subscription that's why i said it's on script <laughs> um i want to i want to put this out there kindle unlimited is great for romances yeah There's a lot of romances on it does not have a ton of fantasy romance so do you feel like it's worth it then? has some if, if you are you a read. romance reader yeah. yes yeah. you need to have kindle unlimited okay. there have been books too where it's like that they're blowing up that i think oh my, let me like i'm gonna be that read that eventually like, like savage and the swan is well, a fantasy free, and it's it's on kindle unlimited so i'm like let her just keep saying it's like it's like books free on, on kindle there's unlimited there's also prime books if you have a prime membership you can get free I'm putting that in air quotes. Prime books that come. I didn't know that. Yeah, they come with Prime. I just I just put in. You can only have a certain amount of time, or a certain oh. amount of books at a time. In, That's on your Kindle book Limited. Show. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, you have a limit. Oh, well, I was just using like free with a Prime membership, so that's what I sort I've of been the using. same thing. Okay. It's like Kindle um, Limited. Yeah. Um. So. Kindle Unlimited is worth it if you read a lot of romances. Okay, that's good to know. If you do not read a lot of romances, I don't know if it's worth it. How the authors get paid with Kindle Unlimited is per page. Oh. So every page that you click, they get paid a, a X amount. Really? Yes. So if you read the whole book, then they get paid for the whole book. But if you oh. only read half of it, they only get paid for the pages that you went through. That is fascinating. No, I feel bad for the ones I never put back. Oh. There's yeah. a lot that I've read the first five like, pages of. Welcome to the Dark Side, which is a, actually, a dark romance that I started and I was like, mm, can't do it. Yeah. Which realistically, you probably make more money off of because if people reread your book true you're making more yeah. money off of it every time somebody's like clicking through it yeah uh scribed 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 i don't know how to say it <laughs> every time um they are more on like they're better for audiobooks yes they have a ton of audiobooks which are free with the subscription there yeah, it yep. is mm-hmm. free um, with the subscription. i will say i get annoyed with scribd because i don't get access to everything at the same time so and i think it correlates to how many books i have saved at once oh see i, I never saved that anything. problem i've never ran into that problem i, I like for example anything. like uh when was it was it nevermore yeah i didn't have you, like, it on script find it really yeah i haven't had that problem. or there was another book that i mean some of them aren't on there but or they'll be like oh available next month or like available in a different country yeah, yeah. um and so the ashes so they, available in a different country same. so they have they have a lot on there there's not yeah. just books it's everything um mm-hmm. and i've gotten a lot of audiobooks on there the crestly cool audiobooks are on there which are fucking phenomenal mm-hmm. um how do you feel about audiobooks now that you've like now that I'm obsessed with Cressley Cole audiobooks, like I can do them. Yeah, now, I really if I like need them. to. I'm able to paint and just do yeah. Yeah. audiobooks. Yeah. But it has to be a good narrator and it yes. has to yeah. be like the right type of book for me. Um, and then I would say fantasy in general is really good on script. Yeah. yeah. Like there's just a lot of choices, there's a lot of things. Um, you might not find the book, but you might find the audiobook. And you might find, or you newer might find titles the, on script. Yeah. You, you, Usually they don't have both. I have found, but they usually have one or the other. They also have like different translations. Like I can only yeah. find uh, Ember in the Ashes in like Japanese. 
but it's like kind of neat that like people mm-hmm. can go on there and be like well i want to read this in my language yeah. And, yeah and they'll have it on there for so you. it's pretty cool um and that's not so a yeah. sponsorship which I, we just oh, like can we do that like how do we get scrape to sponsor us i don't know somebody I'll, send them an email I'll email. we have to do some actual work because like we've said we'll never do a sponsorship unless we like are wholeheartedly like yeah. believe in the company yeah. like you'll never hear us fucking talk up audible sorry but no it just not. sucks Listen, the you fact that i have to for each book. i have to the pay amount for of each people book. that sell out for audible especially if also like, like get the fuck out also of you it you have sucks. prime like you offer prime yeah right like prime video amazon and on prime <laughs> video i don't gotta pay for every movie i'm gonna watch right yeah. so why can't you do it with books like if script can do it yep. hoopla can do it i think libby yeah. can do it well those are library places it's like 15.99 like, a month and you get like one book you a get month. one book that's and absurd. if you're a because they just want to make the money off of you it's absurd okay so my one um i'm gonna give one recommendation based off of this oh, i can't wait to hear this and it's gonna be uh zoe draven is the um author author and her series is called horde kings of dakar um the first book is captive of the horde king you have the weirdest thing i feel like i've heard of this um it's not a bad book it's it's got it's, a lot of good ratings same like vein um, it's a little bit longer on Kindle Unlimited. It's 327 pages, um, but it's that same vein of like, aliens? kind of like, I don't know if they're, yeah, they're aliens because they're on a different planet. So it's sci-fi, um, hmm. but it feels a little bit more like Arabian Nights, like ish. Arabian Nights. <laughs> How do you fucking find I don't even know. Um, but yeah, I read it. Thought I it was good. Aladdin, though. <laughs> I'll probably read the second one. Um, I think they're all like horde kings. They're all like, kings of their like little sectors and then they all report up to horde one big king yeah so. if i hear horde i think of like hoarding a horde of animals or i just think yeah, it's like a insects i just think of anyways hoarders. i like that book um if you really really liked ice planet barbarians you'd probably like horde kings <laughs> i know we didn't really go farther into the story but there is no there's story not much besides more there's there's a nothing blue more man, yeah, there's nothing more blue man group uh blue and, man group <laughs> and a bunch of gals a blue alien let us know and message us and let us know if you would get banged by a blue man and also let us know if you're sucked into this <laughs> what <laughs> the way she looked at you so i thought she was gonna ask like let us know any other books that you would recommend I us to read too. and then took a second you just for me to like, let me know if you want to get banged by a by a blue alien i'm gonna tell you right now no that'd be a good That's shirt cool. would you get ble- banged by a blue alien <laughs> Check yes or you no know, on the back. Other other podcasts and other Instagram accounts, they do some real cutesy shit. Yeah. We're out here doing <laughs> bang, bang, by a blue, <laughs> bang by a blue man. Okay, the blue listen, man bang group. Listen, yes, I'm gonna ask all our listeners right now <laughs> if that's some shit you'd put on. I want you to message us <laughs> because I need I need the validation here that this shit would would work. I think it would. I think it would. Not just for Erica's wardrobe, but like other people's wardrobe <laughs> well what i was gonna say was let us know if you're sucked into this rabbit hole as well yeah tell let us, us your know. let us know your ice planet barbarian adventure story give it to us there's got to be like um somewhere people can go like a safe place where they can tell us about their experience oh, okay let's <laughs> let's I'm trying to think like a forum for, for like a help, yeah, there like is. a helpline, Discord, like a helpline for. People. I've been wanting to start a Discord server. No, I'm absolutely not. Why not? This is ridiculous. We can have a whole section for erotica lovers. Erica, I, play, us out. For romance uh, yeah. play lovers. us out. Erica. Thank you so much Thank for so joining much. this episode, <laughs> and uh, we'll see you next week. I could have gotten us a Discord sponsorship, but all right. <laughs> Bye. I don't even know what that is.